What is good, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I am your man, Big Boy Tracks, as always, and today we're going to be cooking up 70 Soul Sample from scratch, and we're going to actually do what we did last time. I will be using my grandmother's gospel group. I said I got the acapellas to, like, all their tracks, so I'm about to go ahead and just kind of start rejuvenating these tracks, so I figured let's make another beat video utilizing their vocals and turn it into some super you know, 70s soul straight from scratch. So this should be fun. And once again, we're gonna build everything around the vocals. And uh, yeah, man, let's make it do what it do. So I want you guys to sit back and relax. I hope everybody enjoys this beat making video. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with two things for this. We're gonna start out with the drums and with the vocal. Like the last sample video I did, I wanna build everything around the vocal. So I actually recorded this part of me actually recording the vocal sample into the doll, but it took so long just to get it right and just right on the tempo. I got the tempo set at 74. An original track that my parents recorded, the tempo was at like 113. It was a pretty much an up-tempo track, but I want to slow it down for this sample. So I figured some simple time stretcher would work in Serato and it did not. It was just so completely off-tempo and everything. It was just, it was just messed up. <laughs> foundation for this track. So what we're about to do now is I'm gonna pull the piano once again and we're about to just build around it with a very simple uh, but effective sound of chord progression and uh, yeah let's get this thing going guys. simple chord progression and now for the rest of the track I'm gonna actually have the vocals muted just like I did last time because it, it can be kind of become annoying constantly hear the vocals going back and forth and you're not able to hear the actual instrumentation of the track so all right guys so something I always kind of like preach slash teach in a lot of my videos is when you have a very simple chord progression you can always utilize another instrument to be that driving force of the track and for me when I have like a simple chord progression like we have here in this track I like to always have the bass kind of take the lead charge of it kind of drive this track home and that's what we're going to do once again the bass line I can do a lot more switch ups even if the chord progression doesn't have that in there the bass line can do so much more and that's what I'm going to do right now so as you see on the screen I got the Rickenbacker bass put up. You know what, let's shorten this up. I don't plan on going too crazy. is simple but it has so much more dynamic to it I want to add some tension to this track and to do that I always like to go to like some tremolo type of strings so for the strings I will be using a Roland 5080 this is called the Saint strings and they naturally actually have some tremolo to it like they have some strings in here that say actually tremolo but these have a nice touch of tremolo Also, I'm, I'm still gonna add like a lead string in there because this is not enough. You know what I mean? Just these background strings alone. Like I said, these are just simply for some tension building, that's all, but they sound good in here. We're about to go ahead and just lay down a pretty cool sounding string pattern and uh, yeah, let's get this thing going. simple. One of my 
favorite sounds that were used in a lot of soul records. It's an India instrument, it's called the sitar. And I talked about this before in a lot of my old soul videos, probably from like last year or something like that. But a lot of soul producers and you know musicians utilize this in a lot of the tracks. One of the most popular records that I can think of is the Jackson 5's All I Do Is Think Of You. That utilizes the sitar almost throughout the entire track. And then you have groups like Blue Magic, they utilize it in a lot of the tracks. It's a very nice sounding instrument and I just love the way it sounds. Actually some pretty decent VSTs out there on the market. I haven't purchased any of them, but I like to use the one in the Triton. It's a nice sounding one. And it's basically called the Sitar One. So we're gonna go ahead and do some uh, pitch bending and hopefully come up with a nice little, you know, pattern for this track. So next I want to add in a bell. There's a few bells in this VST which I'm kind of going back and forth which one I want to use. As you see I got the SRX orchestra put up and the first one is called the Victorino 1 and this is what it sounds like. Very nice sound. It's like a music box and then it's another one. Let me go ahead and find it for you guys. Right here. Another nice one. This is more of a mallet if I'm saying that right. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or the other one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and record the first one. The Victorino. And then we're going to just utilize that one. And then if I'm not feeling it, I'll switch it out to the other one. Whichever one kind of fits that kind of soul vibe if it goes with the track. So let's go ahead and lay it down first and then we'll kind of just go from there. sounds with the other one. The first one sounds a little bit better, but this water mallet one, it kind of gives you that old school soul vibe. I'm not sure if it's just me. Oh man, it's a tough one. But you know, let's just go back to the first one. And then again, like I said, if I decide to change my mind, you guys will notice it once I arrange this track and stuff like that. Right, guys, so I think that's enough sounds in the track for now. So what I'm about to go ahead and do is get this track arranged. I may add like a cool little intro to it, I'm not sure. But I think this sample sounds extremely soulful. But it's time for you guys to hear this thing as a whole with all the vocals in it. So let's go and hop back into this, guys. Right, guys so that wraps up this beat making video i really do hope you guys enjoyed that this thing came out super soulful it came out pretty amazing but you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below if you enjoyed this beat making video go ahead and give it a like give it a thumbs up and do all that good stuff and if you have not subscribed please make sure you do because i will be coming back with another beat making video once again this week i want to thank everybody for watching and kicking it with your man big boy tracks right here at the producer's life and i'll see y'all next time peace <laughs>